Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I have a few little craft projects that I made this weekend that I wanted to show you just for fun. Um, first of all, I wanted to switch out what I had in my front pocket. For a long time I've had a coffee cup and a spoon, not a real one, a laminated paper one. And that looked really cute and I had fun with it, but since it's fall, and fall is my favorite time of the year, I decided to use some of my leftover fall, oh, there's a bright glare, um, some of my leftover fall scrapbooking paper to make a few little pocket inserts as well as a few bookmarks. So here's a little cute fox, gnomes. Fall is in the air and give thanks always. So basically, I mean, I'm sure you can figure this out. If you're not a crafty person or a craftsy person, I'll just show you what I did. But I cut out the paper. I attached these little, um, I don't know what you call them, just little pictures that come in a big scrapbook set. And they're all in squares. And I just cut out the ones I wanted, glued them on, and then I laminated it all. But I also put paper on the back so instead of it just being plain white cardstock type paper I chose something that I thought was more festive. This one has leaves on it. It's a real faint pattern and it's hard for me to tell if that is visible but you get the idea. Um, I just thought they were fun and I, I love the colors of fall and I think these little pictures are so cute so I made those as bookmarks but also I did a couple card type things here that I can use as a bookmark, but also fit nicely in this pocket. Embrace your journey. I thought that was appropriate for what I call my spiritual notebook. It's just where I write prayer requests, gratitude items, um, kind of like where I maybe journal thoughts to, to God and um, maybe write down things that I've learned and just stuff like that. So anyway, that's what I call it. I also keep my church notes in here and Bible study notes and things like that. So anyway, I thought this looked really pretty. I love this little fall themed, kind of like a little calico in a way. Um, this little tiny flowers. I inked up the edge, of course, before I put it on with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. It was actually that oxide ink and so there you go I also made yesterday I forgot to bring it out with me um, but I made a B6 slim insert for when I get my sojourner B6 slim notebook and this was the cutoff from it it's all coffee dyed paper so I just stapled it together very simple and I put this on which is not sticking this washi tape Um, and just to cover up the staple. So I just keep that handy to write notes of little videos I want to do or what have you, any any scribbles. Just a way to use up the scraps without throwing them away. Okay, so the main thing I wanted to show today also is the rustic Kodiak leather. I've noticed, uh, I think it was maybe one other uh YouTuber had a comment on her. I can't remember where I saw it. I don't know if it was on Chic Sparrow or Sam Kelly's or somewhere. Somebody commented that they're rustic Kodiak or a waypoint leather. I know that from what I'm hearing, they're the same kind of leather. Just distributed or sold through two different companies. It's great leather. Anyway, wow, I'm talking in circles. So this person commented that her waypoint I think it was was becoming discolored or it was fading to the pull-up color all over and I had recently noticed that too with my rustic Kodiak as you can see I hope um, I know there may be a glare here I really probably need a better lighting setup but this is what I have for now so anyway it's scratched I would expect that you know I mean it's used it's gonna get scratched but can you see here um, let me see if I can get that out of glare on it um it's much more faded here and it's much darker up here 
So this is like the pull-up color. I've got a lot of stuff in here. Let me take that out just so I can work with this better. So when I do this, you can see that awesome pull-up. I had so much fun to mess around with. That's like the um, fidget spinner for people that like planners. <laughs> I mean, it's like obsessive. Anyway, okay, so there's the pull-up. That'll fade, it'll go down. But what's happening is it's all turning into this. It's turning into a, maybe a rust color, you could call that, or a lighter brown, I don't know. This rich, deep brown that first came on my Rustic Kodiak is like going away. It's just disappearing and it's, okay. I wanna say, defaulting to the pull-up cover, cover, color. I really like this notebook. It is a look and a texture that I really identify with. It's sturdy, it's hardy, it's rugged, it's um, substantial. If you follow the um, living your truth or dressing your truth principles, that's another whole thing. But they talk about how different looks and styles and, and feels of things will appeal to certain types. Anyway, my type is, in that world, a type 3, and so I like the asymmetry, the more substantial feel. I love this notebook, um, but I am, I am disappointed in this. I have to be honest, I don't like that. I didn't know that it was going to, I, I don't know if this is a patina or not, was going to patina to a light rust color. I was drawn to this because I liked the deeper color and it had that kind of, I want to say oily feel. I don't know a lot about leathers. I know there's like oil tanned leathers and whether or not it's true oil, that's the terminology for it. It felt squishy. Now granted, I have it full right now of inserts, but I don't sense that original. I mean, yeah, it still has some of that squish to it, but it, um, I was talking to Sarah Martinez about this in a comment on an earlier video of hers from several months ago, but just recommented yesterday. I asked her how she was doing with her speckled fawns leather of the same kind, the rustic Kodiak, and she was saying yes, hers was also fading, or maybe her chic sparrow version of it was also fading and becoming drier. So I guess I feel like maybe Everybody knows that, and it was news to me. I don't know. Um, but I kind of wish that they would inform you that as it wears, Mike. it's going to change. So you might say, well, duh, Gail, that's part of the patina process. I get that. I guess I just didn't expect it to happen, and I don't really that's like that as much. But it does have a lot of character. And personality and and I I like that about it I still love the feel of it it still smells amazing this is super soft like a suede kind of feel in there I mean it's a great design I love this angle here I really like like it well here and then the pen loop too it's totally lost the brown and quite frankly that was rather a huge pen loop I mean, maybe it would hold Here's like a giant marker or something, but it works okay with the pen. But it's quite a bit bigger than I think it really needs to be, but I guess that gives it some maneuverability, so that's not a, an altogether bad thing. And it does fit in there nicely. So I'm not trying to pick it all apart, but I guess I'm trying to give a little bit of an honest evaluation. I haven't had this all that long. I can't remember, I was gonna look up before I did this video when I did my unboxing of this, but I wanna say less than a year, six months, maybe. So, okay, that that's what it does. And I think you should just go into it knowing that it will fade. If there's a way to correct this or treat this, Sarah Martinez mentioned that it seems like the oils need to be restored. If there's a way of doing that, I would be happy to know. Please share that in the comments below if, if you know. Anyway, just an honest evaluation. I still really like the notebook, but if somebody asked me, should I get one, I would say what I've told you. Yes, it's amazing, 
but be aware of this. And just so you know too, I don't overly handle this um, in a rough way. It's in my Ikea cart, it sits by the kitchen table where I read and do my, what I call Bible time each morning, you know, pray, um, read, I'll, I'll write in here. That's about it. And then I'll bring it to church on Sundays in my um, purse. And I'll bring it to Bible study in my purse once a week, if that, or I'll carry it. That's it. It's not tossed around here and there. It's put in a basket in my cart. So I'm not mistreating it. It's just doing this with everyday wear and tear. I don't know if this is from my hand or from this going on and off. I do slide it into a basket where there's other notebooks. And so maybe it's rubbing against that. Maybe those other notebooks are absorbing some of the that almost wet moisture feeling of this leather that was so appealing. Um, I don't know. I'd be, I'd really be interested in hearing any additional comments um, from any of you who have experienced the same thing or have some thoughts on this. So I still think it's an amazing um, traveler's notebook cover. Out of 11 kilos. But that is something I did not expect. And so I thought it might just be helpful to throw that out there Yes, um, you know, it's weathered looking, and, and that's all good. I'm just missing that deep brown in these spots where it's totally <laughs> transforming. And like I said, maybe I, maybe that's to be expected, and I should have known. It's okay. I still love it, but again, that's kind of a, a thing to me. And I wanted to make other viewers just aware of that. <clears throat> so I think I've rambled on enough, but you get the idea. I'll put this back in here. I still love carrying this notebook. It just feels so good in hand, and it's a beautiful leather. I just wasn't expecting quite a drastic, so quickly change of color. Thank you for watching today. I hope you've had a good weekend. Hope you're enjoying your fall. Um, it's my favorite time of year. I hope you're having a blessed fall and enjoying time with family and friends. So we will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and talk to you then.